um, Islam is my religion, but I'm kind of like still from my neighborhood at the same time. I'm straddling the fence. Right. And so I'm gambling, which is illegal in Islam. And I get this guy. He owes me some money. Right. So I push up on him. Right. Ramadan, the month, the holy month of Ramadan is coming around. Show you how all of this plays out. And so in my mind at the time, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do you a favor, brother. You know what I'm saying? Just give me your TV. Right. And we're going to call the dead even because Ramadan is coming up. And I, you know, I want to try to, you know, purify myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> He goes to his homeboys, his homeboys tell him, man, just go fire on that fool, right? And he going to roll it up like everybody else rolls it up off the yard, right? So I'm doing play by play like I've been doing it with my shades on. And he walks up to me like, hey, man, I really need to talk to you, right? I'm like, man, I don't have really nothing to say to you, bro. I'm doing play by play. I need that TV in front of my cell, right? Before yard recall, right? He go back to his people. His people tell him, man, we told you what to do. So when he come back, he like, man, I really need to talk to you. And I do like this. Man, I told you when I went to bring my head back, his fist is coming. <laughs> oh, it's me and okay. I, I got to cut on my eyelid right now, right? Then he jumps on me. Now my eyes bleeding. He's breathing hard on top of me, talking about, man, I told you, you can't fade me. I'm like, man, when I get up, I'm finna fuck you up, right? <laughs> <laughs> but everybody sees it because I'm baby chick hern. I'm black chick hern. So everybody like, oh my God, he done fired on black chick hern, right? So I'm headed back to the building and my partner, right? He said, I'm going in there because I'm thinking I'm going to have to stitch myself up and go get this dude. He said, no, go to go to the MTA, to the hospital. Tell him you got elbowed on the basketball court. I'm in there. I tell them that they look at me like, yeah, OK, you got elbowed on the basketball court. Well, let's fix it. Let's fix his eyelid and everything. Right? right. When I come out the MTA's office, every Muslim that could get out the building is out there in front of the hospital waiting on me. Right. Including the leader of the Muslims. Right. And so when I come out, everybody's fired up like, man, who did this? Woo, woo, woo. But the man looked at me and said, hey, man, why did he hit you? Man, it don't matter why he hit me, man. Ain't nobody going to hit a Muslim and get away with it around here. OK. But why did he hit you? I'm just saying, man, you know, ain't, ain't nobody supposed to be able to hit a Muslim and get away with it. He said, I'm going to ask you one more time, man. Why did that man hit you? Well, uh. You know, I you know I was I, I know gambling. We ain't supposed to gamble, right? But I was gambling just a little bit, right? And so, like, man, you're not finna do nothing to him. I'm like, what? He said, man, you're not finna do nothing to him, man. You was gambling. That's punishment from a law on you, right there, right? Leave it alone. I'm like, man, I'm steaming, right? Cause my ego. Yeah. I'm on level four yard, right? I feel violated. This is all my feelings. I feel violated. I feel like this fool trying to punk me. So what I do. I go to a couple of my homeboys from my old demonstration and I tell them, man, I got told I can't do nothing in this food, man. I need y'all to get that food for me. Right. So while the head of the Muslim community is over talking to the head of this dude's car, telling him that everything is squashed out on the yard, I got my homeboys hailing this dude. Now, the head of security for the Muslim community is my boy. He comes out and he sees it. He like, man, what are you doing? I said, man, ain't nobody going to hit no Muslim around here and get away with it, man. Period. Point blank. Right. So that night <laughs> we go to the chapel. Because I got an issue coming. Right. Because I didn't I didn't broke protocol. OK, cool. Just like I took that 50 to life. I'm going to take whatever punishment I got coming. Right. So my boy comes in, he says, hey, man, you know, uh, at, when Ramadan is over with, you know, you're going to get an issue, right? I'm like, man, I'm, what am I, a kid? I got to wait till Ramadan is over, man. I, you give me my issue right now, right? He looked, he said, man, do you know what you're saying? I, said, I don't care. I don't care what you're saying. So I end up going in the back room in the chapel with three of the biggest Muslims on the yard. I have these guys, <laughs> six, three, six, four, six, six, right? The smallest one, I think, is about 200 pounds. The biggest brother is like 280, right? Now, mind you, I look slim now, but back then I was fat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and out of shape, right? <laughs> the head of the Muslims come in. He's, the, the, my boy tell him, he said, man, he don't want to wait for his punishment. He said he wanted now. He looked at me. He said, what? I said, man, you heard what he said, man. Whatever punishment I got, come and give it to me right now. You know, hard, you know. He said, man, get his food three sets of 60 seconds, man, and then get him out here so he can pray with the rest of us. I'm like, what is 60 seconds, right? <laughs> I'm curious. I had to do 
28 count burpees. Ooh. And in between the eight count burpees, it was 60 seconds of each one of them, one at a time, going at my body from my neck to my waistline. If I go to punch back, all three of them is going to down me, right? Now, I could block, right? I can bob and weave, but I can't punch back, right? So he steps out. Uh, the first brother, 6'3", he like, you heard what he said, get started with them burpees, man, so we can get this thing. Now, I don't know if you know what burpees are, but eight count burpees is hard to do. <laughs> Mind you, again, I'm like 280 pounds, out of shape. All I'm doing is doing play-by-play -play every day, right? I'm not doing nothing else, right? So after I finish that first set of burpees, he'd go to work on my <laughs> Then the next one, I got to do 28 count burpees. And the next one, who's a little bit bigger. <laughs> now we get to the last one. I got to do this last set. I'm hurting. I'm in pain. Like, man, you talk that mess. Get on, get on, get it done. Right? Now, mind you, the whole Muslim community is outside on the rug waiting on me. They can hear all of the rumble and tumbling going on like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> The two dudes who I had to my two homeboys who I said, man, y'all go take care of that for me. They sitting out on the rug because I told them, I told them, no, y'all can't do nothing to them because I told them to do it and they didn't know the order that was given to me. Right. So they don't bother them. They said not there. They want to get them, but they like, no, I'm taking accountability for them. Right. The last brother is lifting me off the ground with his punches. <laughs> right. Hurry up and wash yourself up so we can go out here and pray, right? This is sinking now. Wash up, right? They open up the door and everybody's looking at me like this. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> they didn't hurt them, right? I go fall in the ranks. They crush you in, in in prayer, right? I'm like, they squeezed on me. I'm like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. So we do the first Allah. Allah, who oh, oh. This me Allah Rahman Rahim, Allah Yeah, you right. Oh, I fall out. Right, I, they take me back into the office and lay me across three chairs. Right, I'm laying there like, oh, oh, hurt. Oh. The man comes in. He leans in my ear. He said, "Uh, we ain't gonna have to do this again, are we?" I said, "No, sir. Nope, nope, nope. nope. We we're not gonna have this ever."